Hey circusers, welcome to part three of four of Circus at Home. And this is a collaboration between the Tompkins County Public Library and Circus Culture, which is located in downtown Ithaca. Um, my name is Claire and I will be leading the class today. Uh, this program was made possible by a grant from the Bernard Carl and Shirley Rosin Library Fund of the Community Foundation of Tompkins County. Um, a quick note about safety, if something doesn't feel safe for you either in your body or in the space, please do not do it. You can just skip ahead in the video and join in when you feel ready. Um, for class today, you'll need a little bit of space to move in and you will need something light to juggle, such as a piece of tissue paper or a plastic bag or um, if you have a light piece of fabric like a scarf, that would work really well. And you'll also need a broomstick. Um, or something with a long handle. We're going to be practicing some wire walking, um, so you will need that. And um, I think that's all we need. So we are going to get started. And just a reminder that uh, we're working on different circus skills, and in the last part, part four, we will um, be creating an act to help maybe even put a show together so you can show your family and friends. So without further ado, let's get our body warmed up. So find a little bit of space that you can move around in. And the first thing we're gonna do is play a game called Ships and Sailors. So the way this game works is one side of your room is ships and the other side of the room is sailors. So let's just practice that. Ships can be on this side and sailors can be on this side. So if I say ships, we're gonna come over to this side of our space, and if I say sailors, we're going to come over to this side of our space. So let's practice that. Chips and sailors. Awesome. So there are a couple other things I'm going to be saying, and you're just going to follow along with those things. The next one is swab the deck. So if I say swab the deck, you're going to come to your hands and knees, and you're going to pretend to clean your floor, just like this. And if I say pelican, you're going to hop on one leg and flap your hands. And for some reason, the pelicans at circus culture say potato. So we're going to say potato, 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 potato. Uh, next is captain's coming. So for this one, this is a tricky one. If I say captain's coming, you're going to stand at attention. And you have to stay like this until I say at ease. And then you can come back to your neutral position. So I say captain's coming, and I say swab the deck. Ships, sailors, you stay like this until I say at ease. All right, so let's practice those. Um, starting with ships and sailors. Ships, sailors, swap the deck. Pelican, potato, 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 potato. Captain's coming. Sailors, swap the deck. At ease. Sailors. Ships. Sailors. Ships. Sailors. Pelican. Potato, 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 potato. Captain's coming. Swab the deck. <gasps> Did I get ya? You should have stayed. At Captain's coming. At ease. Pelican. Potato, 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 potato. Ships. Sailors, ships, awesome, shake out your body. Hopefully it's feeling a little bit warmer now that we've moved around a little bit. And we're gonna start with our circus shapes. So find a spot where you can find a tough position. I'm gonna move my camera a little bit so you can see the floor. Okay, so we're sitting in a tuck, one hand on each shin, sitting nice and tall, point your toes. And pike, legs squeezing together out in front of you, sitting tall, and then straddle. Your legs are in a pizza shape, but your legs are super straight. And your knees are pointed towards the ceiling. I'm gonna try to adjust this a little bit more. Thank you for your patience. All right, so we have tuck, pike, straddle. Let's do a little bit of Simon Says with this. So if I say Simon Says, you do it. If I don't say Simon says, you don't do it. Simon says, strap. Simon says, tuck. Simon says, pike. Simon says, tuck. Pike. Um, 
like good job. Simon says straddle. Simon says tuck. Simon says pike. Straddle. Simon says straddle. Simon says tuck. Simon says pike. Awesome, shake it out. Okay, um, next we're going to find our tabletop position. You're gonna come to your hands and knees. Make sure your hips are right over your knees and that your shoulders are over your wrists. And you can have a little bit of space between your knees, just like that. So we have our tabletop position. This is a really strong position to be in. And we're gonna flip over and find our reverse table or our crab shape. So you're gonna flip over. My fingers point towards my toes. My feet are pressing firmly into the ground and I push, push my hips up nice and high so they're in line with my knees and shoulders. And let's flip back over to the table. Awesome. From our table, let's pick up one leg, give it a little shake, and then extend it straight out. Flex your foot and try to push your heel towards the opposite wall. And then you're going to take your opposite hand and you're going to crawl it forward and see if you can find a balance on one arm and one leg. And then set it back down. We'll try our other side. So a leg comes up, give it a little shake at first, wake it up a little, and then flex that foot and crawl your hand forward and set it back down. Nice, so let's flip back over to our reverse table or our crab shape. And while we're here, let's see, hips nice and high. So you can pick up one leg and give it a shake. Shake, 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 wake it up. Nice, and then do that with the other leg. Shake it out, wake it up. Awesome, and sit back down. All right, I'm gonna introduce a brand new shape today, which is called a plank. So you're gonna come over to your hands and knees. You can start in your table. Try to spread your fingers nice and wide. And you're gonna extend one leg out behind you so it's on the, your toes touch the floor. You're gonna bring your other toes next to it. Try to squeeze your legs together and see if you can make a straight line from your shoulders to your ankles. So rather than my hips being high up in the air like with my bear or sinking down to the ground, I'm going to try to keep them right in line. And then from here, I can flip over to a reverse plank so I'm going to flip, Finger to, or fingers point towards my toes, I'm going to find my straight legs, kind of like I'm making a giant slide with the front of my body. And then we can flip back to our plank, and one more time to our reverse plank. Hips high, and sit down. Next, shake out your wrists a little bit, because that was a lot on our wrists. You can roll them in circles. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna practice our candlestick next. So remember you can start laying on the floor with your feet out in front of you, squeezing your legs together, and you're going to lift your legs up into the air and try to get your hips up nice and high. So toes towards the ceiling. You can put your hands on your lower back to help support you, but try to squeeze your legs together and keep them as straight as possible. And then you can roll forward back to your pike. So let's try that one more time, either starting on your back or in your pike. Rolling up, hips up, feet to the sky, and rolling back down. Nice. And then last challenge with this, you can try starting in a squat position. So I'm squatting with my toes on the ground. And from here, I can use my hands to help me gently roll back hips high to the sky, and then I'm gonna try to roll back to my squat. Rolling, and you can use your hands, or we're gonna try it one more time. And if you want an extra, extra challenge, you can try it without using your hands on the ground, and you're just gonna reach your hands forward to help you stand up. So it'll look like this. Rolling up, and then rolling forward. You have to make it nice and quick. All right, one more time, just like that. Rolling up and roll forward. Awesome. Nice job, circusers. If you want, you can grab some water. And uh, next, 
you will need your scarf. So if you need a second, go grab your scarf or your tissue paper. And we're gonna play a game called, What Can You Do? So, I like to stand up for this game. And usually, when I start, I adjust the camera. When I start, I like to just toss the scarf around a little bit so I can get used to it, so I know how light it is. Tossing it back and forth. From hand to hand, doesn't have to be any particular way. We're just seeing how this thing acts in the air. Nice. All right. So now we're going to play a game called What Can You Do? Basically, what's going to happen is we're going to throw the scarf in the air and then we're going to try doing different things before we catch it again. So the first one, we're going to start simple. The first one is we're just going to clap. So you're going to toss the scarf in the air, clap, and then try to catch it. It doesn't matter which hand you catch it with, you can catch it with both hands. There's no wrong way to do it. So let's try that a few times. And if you drop it, like I just did, that's totally fine. Pick it back up and we try it again. So toss, clap, catch. Toss, clap, catch. Toss, clap, catch. Awesome, try a few more times. Maybe you see if you can clap twice. Maybe even three times. Maybe you see how many times you can clap before you catch it. About six for me. Oh, I got seven. Try a couple more. Awesome. All right. Next, we are going to toss it up and try to touch the floor and then catch it. So it'll look like this. Toss. Touch the floor. Catch. See if you can do that with me. Toss. Touch the floor. Catch. Toss. Touch the floor. Catch. Oops. Dropped mine. Try a couple more times. Toss. Touch the floor. Catch. Maybe this time you uh, touch, you clap, and then touch the floor, and then try to catch it. So, toss, clap, touch the floor, catch. Toss, clap, touch the floor, catch. Try a couple more. Maybe you clap twice and then touch the floor. Some one more. Nice. All right. The next one we're going to do is we're going to try jumping and then catching it. So we're going to toss it, jump, catch. Toss, jump, catch. Toss, jump. Maybe you try jumping twice. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. How about um, this time we're going to try jumping, touching the floor, and then catching it. All right, get warmed up. Move your body a little. Jump, touch the floor, catch. Jump, touch the floor, catch. All right, try that again. Oh, that's so close. Nice. All right. This one's going to be a challenge. We're going to try spinning in a circle. What can be really helpful with this one is if before you spin, you cross your legs and then you just uncross them and recross them and you come back around. So just try that one. So they start crossed and then you spin around. All right. Let's see if we can try that. Make sure you have enough space so if you get dizzy, you're not going to hit anything. And then start my legs crossed. Toss, spin, catch. Awesome. Come practice that one a few times. Toss, 
Spin, catch. Whoo, this one makes me dizzy. All right, I'm gonna do it one more time. Awesome. All right, let's do another one. And this time you can make up whatever version of it you want. So maybe you toss it under your leg and catch it. Maybe you toss it under your leg, touch the floor and then catch it. Maybe you clap, spin, catch. You can create your very own. Okay, so I'm gonna do under the leg, touch the floor. Under the leg, touch the floor, catch. Practice it a few times. Awesome, one more. Nice, all right, you can put your scarf away. And you can find your broom stick. If you want, you can have some water real quick. Okay. So we're going to do our very last thing, which is we're going to practice some wire walking, but with a broomstick or some object that you have. Make sure you check with your family first that it's okay to use this object to walk on. Um, and if they say it's okay, then I'm going to set up our room stick in our space. Make sure you can see me all right. Okay, so before I walk on my room stick, I usually like to practice my wire walking on the floor. So I'm gonna bring my feet a little closer to you and you can see what it looks like. When we walk on the wire, we're going to take a step we're going to go brush against our other foot, slide over our toe, so toe, and then slide. Brush, toe, slide. And that is how we walk on the wire. Because pretend we're really high up in the air, or even just a little bit off the ground, we always want to have some contact with the wire. So if I'm starting to walk on the wire and I just take steps like this, there's a much greater chance that I'm going to miss the wire and fall off. So if I can do this, if I can go brush, toe, slide, brush, toe, slide, I'll have a greater chance of staying on. So with my wire, the other thing I can do is use my hands to help me balance. So I'm gonna be standing nice and tall. I'm gonna be looking at the opposite um, side of the room where my wall and my floor meet. So kind of like in this little crack is where I'm going to keep my focus. And then I can step on my pretend wire. And the first time you do it, you can really just see what it feels like under your foot because it might feel really different. And you can just practice balancing on one foot. And then you can try brush toe slide. And I have to tighten mine up a little bit, got a little loose. All right, that should be good. So here, brush, toe, slide. Try to look towards the opposite end of your room. Balancing, you can always put one foot on the ground to help you a little bit. That's why it's nice having this nice and low. And then again. So we're gonna just practice walking forwards a few times. Here, standing nice and tall, you can use your arms to help you balance. Brush, toe, slide, and then step off. Nice. One more time, straight forwards, and we'll add in some new tricks. Brush, toe, slide. You want to try to keep your foot. Um, as much as possible on the broomstick. So rather than being turned out to the side this way or turned in this way, try to keep a nice line from your big toe all the way to your heel. You want as much surface area as possible touching your broom. Awesome. All right, so we've gone forwards. Let's try going backwards. So it's gonna be very similar. Starting here, standing tall, looking forwards. Here, try to Walk backwards. Yeah, 
child. Notice I fall a lot, and it's pretty tricky, so. Okay, we're all learning together. Awesome, let's try that again. Walking backwards. Keep your eyes out in front of you, down, looking down at your feet. Nice. All right, our next one, next trick that we're going to try with our room is um, we're going to try kneeling. So basically, you're going to take a big step, and you're going to slide it extra wide, and then you're going to dip down with your back knee until it gently touches the broom, and then you're going to stand back up and walk. So you can try it just on the floor at first. So take a big step, do a nice lunge, where your back knee just gently will touch the stick, and you stand back up, and you continue walking. So let's try that together. So big step this time. If you need to hold on to something, like your couch or wall or a human, that's awesome. Kneeling down, standing back up, and stepping off. So we'll try that one a couple times. Balance, kneel. Maybe you can see if you can balance here for a moment. Stand back up and step off. Awesome. All right, um, let's try that one, one more time and then I have one more to show you. Here. Kneel style. Stand back up and step off. Awesome. Last one, it's called a passe. So you're going to take a step and you're going to bring your knee up, your foot up to your knee, and then you'll step down, slide, up, slide. So you can practice that just on the floor again. Step, foot to knee. Slide, foot to knee, slide. And then we try it on our wire. Look like this. Passe. Slide. Passe. Slide. Try that one again. Passe. Slide. Ooh, my room is so rolly today. I'd say slide. Nice job. All right, so we will work um, in the next part four on creating an app with our wire and some of the other things that we've been working on. Um, but that's all we have for today. So thank you so much for joining. This is part three of four. My name is Claire um, and we'll see you in part four.